Hello, 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 Larry here, and welcome back to uh, my old uh, playthrough here in Hydroneer 2.0. And yes, nice blue sky, we're out in the blasting area, all the electronics, and what do we have here? It's a portal. O-M-D. These are awesome. Look at that. And I'm back in base. Oh, these are a million times better than the truck. Oh my God. It just, oh, let's see where this one goes. Oh, that's right. I don't have to take the elevator anymore into my claim. <laughs> oh, but this is the one weird thing is in some areas they have to be they won't go down low, so I have to rework them a little bit. But, looky looky, now I don't have to go running around like crazy trying to buy stuff, you know, grabbing carts and all that other fun stuff. I just, boom, I'm there. Right here. If I want to go to the jeweler when I sell something, bam, right there. And it's all because of the mods, yes. Mods now in this game are so nice. And of course, this building right here is all a mod. And then of course, they have gambling. And then of course, one of my favorite torches is right here. Hopefully, they'll add more. I'm hoping. Hope, hope, hope. But we'll see. And you got skulls and all sorts of other fun stuff that you can get. And then of course, <gasps> these glorious pipes. Oh, it makes piping so much easier. But yes, and I think some of this stuff Max needs to just put into the game. You know, no reason for a mod whatsoever because it's just, you know, using the portals. The portals, yeah, I, I don't use the truck as often, but now I get to use the truck whenever I feel like using the truck, not because I have to use the truck. So, you know, it does make a big difference. Now, the other great thing is I actually spend my money now because with these little boxes, oh, it's, oh, tell you what, let's go ahead and buy 20 of these, okay? And then we just left click it. I need to get what, 20 or 40 of these? Yeah, 40. That's right. We'll just buy 40. Okay, 40 in there. Plop, buy, ready to go. No lag, no fuss, no muss. And then, of course, combine that with uh, my portal. And voila. Now I can go build stuff. No issues. It just, oh, yeah. And I have my wand. Believe it or not, you know, I can just replicate anything that I want. But now... Now that it's no big deal to go off and buy stuff and, you know, have to drive the truck around and all that. Just with these two mods, the game is far more enjoyable. And is actually, I want to play it more than what I was before. Because it's just, it's just so much easier to play now. And... I mean, it just, uh, I, I, it's really hard to explain, but just the convenience factor. I hate it when, you know, it takes forever to do something. And that's why I quit playing a lot of games. It's just, they're just not convenient to play. But just by these two mods being introduced in the game, it's like, oh, I absolutely want to play now because I mean, it's just so much easier to build things. Now, like right now, I'm getting ready to set up to start blasting. So what do I need to do? Okay, well, I have these leftovers right here, which is fine. No big deal. But I, if you notice, I've been getting rid of my carts. All my carts are outside because these, these they, they just take up space. So now, watch, let's, let's go buy some... Uh, TNT there. So, should be what? This portal? Yes. And then I'm going to buy my little box. 
Oh, that's right. I already bought one. So. Take this. I have not bought TNT this way, so I don't know how many I can hold. Okay, so it's only 20. No biggie. Toss that in there. Oh, I have no money. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, now, <laughs> if I wanted to, I could bounce into my portals. But I, I already know where my, my money's at, so... There's no reason to be jumping around in my portals. My money's over here. Oh, okay, maybe not. My money's over here. <laughs> I knew it was at one of these two. So yeah, I mean, if I wanted to, I could run over to that portal and bounce me back. And yeah, it's just easier this way. I'm not, I'm lazy, but I'm not that lazy. There we go. So, now I have 20 bombs that quick. Now, if I wanted to, could I bring my truck over here? Yes. And I'm like, why am I running over to that other portal when I've got this one right here? Oh, and this is one thing I've noticed. With where I have this portal placed, it uh, has a, a, uh, a wall. See how that dirt flashes in flashes out so I do have to move this portal because it's just it's in a bad location so I can place it right now pick it up let's rotate it right here there's my wand or my screwdriver I was wondering where that thing went what a pain okay yeah, I got I have a few of those screwdrivers laying around because oh, they're so hard to keep track. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this one. And I'm gonna get some more bombs. But I mean look at this. We don't have to deal with the truck, no flying headgear, none of that. Bam. Right back at home. And now if I want one of these things, I just pull it out and place it. Unfortunately, you just can't put stuff back into it. It is, you know, that's the only drawback to it. But I'm okay with that. To me, that's no big deal. Now, what's another thing I'm going to need here? Because uh, I already have the wood platforms. I'm going to need ladders. Yeah. Ladders. Now, I'm not going to buy any detonators just yet because I think I have like a dozen in here. So, and I think there's like a dozen in here. So, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to buy this stuff and to use it. So, yeah, life is good. But, we need ladders. So, let's go buy some ladders. And we're going to need my money first. Okay, and then the latter one, I think it's this one. Nope. Is it this one? Yeah, close enough. Yeah, but I got to get a portal room. It would make life so much easier if I had a portal room. Now, should I buy small ladders or should I buy the big ladders? Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll just buy big ones. It's no big deal. Okay, where's the little boxy thingy at? There we go. Now, the one bad thing with about these boxy thingies is you can't reuse them, which is a bummer. Which, you know, I, I get, but it's a it, you don't get squat for when you recycle them. So you have that to contend with. But, you know, oh well. There we go. So now I have 40 ladders and I can go ahead and start demoing. Place this on top. Oh yeah, and they, they stack, which is kind of nice. 
So you build them like building blocks. Life is good. Okay. Oh, and what else have I done over here? Hmm. Okay. We have all of this, which <laughs> this is nice. I know how many bags I have now. So I know when I'm getting low. And then I went ahead and did this little funky setup just to uh, separate my gems from my uh, ores. But the one thing that's really funky about this is these things will get caught up on the sides of uh, the compressors. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. And then over here, we of course have all of our uh, metals. And then of course our tier ones and tier twos. Now in the previous uh, episode, you know, people are just like, Larry, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're building it wrong. You know, you need to change this around. And since these are on the top tier dirt for uh, tier two, they wanted me to change things around and have uh, other tier twos on the lower dirt feeding into one belt. And I get it. I, I understand what they're saying, but I like it this way. I, I just want just straight up the best dirt that I can get. You know, everybody to each their own, but I just wanted to see how this build would be because I want to do it vertically. Well, have to do it vertically, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to see what it was going to do. And to me, I like with how I'm going to do the belt arrangement. I actually like the setup. So, you know, we will see. We'll see how everything goes. And then, of course, you know, we have all the tier ones. But this right here is maximizing the amount of space that is being used by these drills. So, you know, it's, you know, it's one of those things. People will agree. Some people will disagree. But, hey, you do you. I'll do me. <laughs> Life is good. Now, ooh, we finally got over a million again. I've been selling million dollar necklaces like there's no tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get this thing heated up. Break out the old saw. Cut this puppy in half. And we need to find a decent stone here. How much is this one worth? And that one's worth 323000 This will probably be my winner. Because I think I sold these. I mean, I crafted a necklace from one of the, these. I think it was the... I think it was the emerald was the last thing that I crafted with. Yeah, because that's 255000 And the ruby... Yeah, last time I checked, the ruby was like 40000 or something like that. Yeah, it hasn't gone up much. So, and let's check out the onyx. And the onyx is 63000 So, yeah. So, it was what? The sapphire? I think it was the sapphire, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. So we'll throw the old sapphire right here. Pick these puppies up. Bam. Life is good. And let's just take the old portal. We'll sell it. Collect another cool 1.6 million. 
And where do I want to dump this stack at? Because I really don't need any more portals. Unless I do a portal to the forge. That I haven't done yet. And you know what? We could go do that. I could show you how we set them up. Let's do that. Let's do a portal to the forge. So we'll bounce back here. And then we'll bounce over here. We'll go in here. Okay. We need two of these. And these things are worth, what, 785000 each? And you need two of them? So, yeah, they're kind of expensive. And let's take one back to the base. Okay, we will plop this puppy. And we'll plop it right there. And we're going to label this one a number four. Number four. Okay. I'm going to just keep that right there. And we're going to go back and grab that other one. Voila. And then let's go closest to the forge that we can get. Come on, where are you? There we go. That works. Yeah, because that, that thing's set for zero, so. But let's grab our little doohickey thingy. And. There we go. And we want to set this to number four. Voila. That's all we have to do. So now. Okay, I've got one of these. <laughs> it's that simple. That easy. So using these things to travel with is just so amazing. No reason for carts anymore. No reason for trucks anymore. It just pick up a crate full of something and life is good. Now, I don't know if we can crate these things. That's That would be interesting, but I don't know if we can or not. I don't think we can. Oh, we wouldn't be able to because you can't place stuff in boxes so yeah these wouldn't be able to be created none of this stuff would be able to oh well no biggie so let us go see how much uh caterium we have and see if we can make anything Ah, let's see. We almost have 3,000. So 2,833. Wow. That's a lot. Okay, so let's go over to our forge. And... Yeah, so we can build uh, 10 tier 2s. Not too shabby. So, I think I'll do that uh, in between episodes because... <gasps> I need to get start some blasting. So, let me uh, go have some fun with some blasting here. And uh, I'll bring you back when I get something to show you. Okay, as you can see, I've been busy doing some blasting here. And we're slightly, what, a little bit over halfway. And yeah, it's, it's cost a ton of money already. 
But I just wanted to show people what it's what it takes, what's involved <laughs> to blast this claim. I it's it's a lot of work, believe it or not, a lot of work. And you do wind up using uh, the rake and the pickaxe uh, because you do want to groove the walls and you want to put charges one and a half away. Well, at least a full space in between each one of them in a grid pattern. So take you over here. And as you can see, it looks, it looks to me like there's it's three blocks thick. So let's see uh, what type of damage we can do here. And, you know, at least it'll be fun. So three, two, one. There we go. Ho <laughs> ho! This is crazy, crazy, crazy. This is about what I thought would happen. Now, this is where I will either finish this off with the rake or the pickaxe because we're getting way too close to our equipment and I do not want to have to build any more harvesters you know except for the ones that I want to build not for the ones that I've damaged so we're getting one step closer but I wanted uh, to bring you back so you can actually see blasting actually taking place and no, it wasn't nukes, because if I would have used nukes, uh, yeah, things would have been horrible. Now, if you notice, I still have this wall here. That is because this is we're getting into Tier 3 dirt here. And I really don't want to blast into Tier 3 dirt. Just keep it there. It's no big deal. Life is good. So, yeah. But anyway, I am going to go ahead and end the video here. So... The next time uh, we come back, uh, we will be uh, we'll be setting up for our second level of tier ones and tier twos, and then we'll be setting up for our third. And maybe we will also uh, spend some time uh, building a portal room. That would be kind of cool. So, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit like. Let other people know that uh, I'm out here. And hopefully you're having a great day because I know I am. And I'm Larry. And I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye.